Do you know React but haven't really worked with Next.js and you are wondering where to start or what to learn first? I have worked with Next.js over five years now and I'm building production grade applications with it daily. In this video I will show you three steps to take to master the core fundamentals of Next.js. Each step is actually a learning step for a core Next.js feature or a concept. So without further ado, let's begin. Next.js has routing built in with the file system based routing mechanism. Traditionally, we have had to use some kind of third party package for routing. This usually has included making routing file that maps the components and routes in our application. With Next.js, things are a bit easier because the routing is defined by the files and folders in our project's app directory. This makes creating new routes and finding a component for a given route super easy. So in this first step, we should learn how the file system based routing works in Next.js. Because routing is a key part of any application and by understanding the file based routing, we lay a solid foundation for our Next.js skills. Next.js enables us to render parts of our application on the server. Traditionally in React, our application has been rendered somewhat as follows. First, we have had to download the JavaScript bundle from the server to the client, so to the browser. Then we have parsed and executed that JavaScript. And after that, we have rendered the application in the browser. With Next.js, we aren't limited to just rendering our code on the client, but we can render parts of it on the server too. And by default, Next.js actually renders everything on the server and we need to explicitly tell it if we want some of the components rendered on the client. Doing the rendering work on the server benefits, for example, data fetching, security, caching and SEO. So in this second step, we shall learn what server-side rendering means and how it works. Because understanding when the code is rendered on the server and when on the client and using both environments appropriately is integral when building applications with Next.js. Before the third step, I want to tell you about this week's sponsor Elgato. They recently launched their new product family called Neo. And if you aren't familiar with them, Neo tools level up how you look, sound and operate online. They are plug and play, so there is no setup required. And I'm most excited about the Stream Deck Neo because I can add all my most important hotkeys and commands to it. And since it's so compact and lightweight, I like to have it also on me whenever I am working outside of my office. And I'm actually this week working from a cottage and I have been using the Stream Deck Neo all the time. Here's a glimpse of what my Stream Deck Neo setup looks like. So first I like to have my Pomodoro timer there. Then I have hotkey for opening up my VS Code, GitHub and ChatGPT. And then I have created a folder for my most used code snippets. And these are really super handy for software developers because I can just click the button on the Stream Deck and it will input the text to my VS Code. And then I also have an emojis folder here so I can quickly input emojis anywhere I need them. Then since I have a lot of Teams meetings, I have the mute button binded here so I don't have to always open up the meeting window and click the mute uh, which is super handy. So this is my favorite setup for it. Of course I have other pages here also for example controlling uh, Spotify and other stuff. So check out more info about all the Neo tools from the link in the description. Okay so we talked about learning the file system based routing in the step one. Next test has two routers. They are called App router and pages router. Both use the file system based mechanism, but they have differences in rendering strategies and conventions. App router is the new router which uses latest features of Next.js. Pages router, on the other hand, is the traditional router which doesn't enable us to use all the latest features of Next.js, like server components, for example. So, in this third step, you need to figure out which router to learn first. As a rule of thumb, you should use App Router when starting a new project. If you know that you will be working on a project that uses the Pages Router, then it might be good to get familiar with it first. But as said, the App Router is the new router with all new 
features will be published. So if you don't have a strong reason to use Pages Router, I would recommend learning and starting to use the app router. Start with these three steps and learning these three concepts and you will have a solid foundation to build your Next.js skills on. If you want to learn more about Next.js and keep up with the latest features, my newsletter is something you should probably subscribe to because on it I share more in-depth Next.js and web development content that I don't talk about anywhere else. I'll leave a link into the description if you wanna check it out.